In this video, we'll be showing you how you can customize your Echo Show screen, and we'll be telling you what you can, and more importantly, what you can't do. Now, first of all, if you've got your device with you, don't worry about hearing this word on the screen, because every time I say this word on the screen, I will mute it out so that it doesn't activate your device. Guys, drop me a like if you're pleased with that. Okay, first of all, the devices that this video will support will be the Echo Show 5, the Echo Show 8, and the original Echo Show second generation. Now, these devices are not all the same, and you can't do everything on all of them. And I'll show you right away from the start the one restriction, which I think is crazy, by the way, and if people from Amazon are listening, then definitely you need to fix this problem, because the Echo Show 5 is by far the most customizable. And so if you've got the Echo Show 8 or the larger Echo Show, you won't be able to do certain customizations. Now, many people assume that all of these devices are the same and you can do the same things, but look what happens when we ask two of them to do something. Customize my clock. Hmm, clock face is not available on this device. So that's the second generation Echo Show. What about the eight? Customize my clock. Hmm, clock face is not available on this device. So that's a no to the Echo Show 8, but look what happens with the 5. Customize my clock. Sure, tap on a theme to see different clock faces. So guys, for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing what the Echo 5 can do and the different clock faces. If you're not interested in watching this and you want to skip to where we're talking about the Echo Show 8 and the Echo Show 2nd generation, then skip to the time on screen now. So this is really crazy that Amazon have restricted this feature to just the Echo Show 5. Now, I am aware that the Echo Show 5 is probably more likely to be a bedside clock, and so therefore this works well in that function. But having the ability to move the time, have the different clock faces, all of those are features which I'm sure most people would want. Drop a comment in the box below if that's something that you would want with your device. On the Echo Show 5, there are two ways to access the clock. You can either swipe down from the top, then click on Settings, and then click on Home and Clock. And that will bring up this screen, and then you can go in and make the changes, either to the home content, which I'll show you shortly, or to the clock itself, and it will give you all of the different options that you can choose from. Or, like I showed you earlier, you can just ask to customize the clock for you, and that will take you straight into this screen. Now, this section is split into different categories. You've got recent clocks, personal photographs, modern, playful, photography, and classic. So there are a number of different options that you can choose from. And as you scroll through them, you can see the different options, the different positions of the clock. Now, you can also change the content which is on the screen, like the time, the weather, for instance, and other information. And we'll show you that through the home content section, which will be later in this video. So just to reiterate, the really frustrating thing is none of these options at all are available with the larger, more expensive, and more powerful Echo Show 8 and Echo Show 2nd generation. Look at this clock face, for instance. How cool is that? But you cannot have this on the bigger screens. So that is something which definitely needs to change. If you go into the personal photo section, you can now change the background to your own personal photos. And I'll show you just quickly how to do this, but I'll show you how to set it up again a little bit later when we're talking about all of the devices. So here all you need to do is click on background, and then you need to either select the Alexa app photo or the Amazon Photos, which is an album that I'll show you how you can set up. And then you can save that information, change the clock face, choose the different positioning of the clock face if you want to, and then you can obviously get the screen like this, and then it will rotate through your own photographs. Okay, so on the Echo Show second generation, and this, the Echo Show 8, you'll need to swipe down from the top and then click on Settings. When you get into the Settings screen, you'll be presented with a very familiar screen to the Echo Show 5. Unfortunately though, we haven't got the section that says Home and Clock, we've got the one that says Wallpaper and Clock. Again, it baffles me, but unfortunately that is what it is. So what you'll need to do is go up to where it says Wallpaper and Clock, and then you'll need to click in to access the different functions, albeit the very limited functions that you can then do within this section. Okay, in this section you have the Amazon Photos and the 
app photo, which I'll show you how to set up in just a few seconds. But if you scroll down, you've then got various different options that you can choose. Travel, art, nature, illustration, and minimal. So all you need to do is to press one of these and that will select it. And then when you come back out to the home screen, you will be on the new setting, whichever one it is you choose. And at the bottom of this menu, you've got the same as on the Echo Show 5. You've got night mode, ambient mode, 24 hour clock, for instance. But I'll show you that in a little bit more detail later. So let's just select, uh, for instance, uh, the first one there. Let's go to travel, select that, and now go back out to the home screen and you'll see that you've got various different travel photos. Now these aren't your own, but this is how you set up your own. So there are a couple of ways of getting your photographs onto the system, and I'm gonna show you both of those now. The first one, and the best way, is to download the Amazon Photos app. So download that to your device, because it's your device that you'll probably have most of your photos saved. You then need to open it up and sign in to your Amazon account. Once you've done that, it will get a notification to say, will you allow it to access your photos? Now you can either choose yes, and it will immediately upload all of your photos, or you can choose no, and you can do what I'm doing now, and I'm selecting all of the photographs that I want. That's just really for the demonstration purposes of this video, rather than having all of my photographs going through. It would take forever. Okay, so now my photographs have been uploaded into the Amazon app. What I'm doing now is creating an album. So I'm selecting all of those photographs when they were taken, and I'm gonna create this album. Now there is a common theme with this album. This is my dog's album. And so therefore I'm going to click the bottom plus in the bottom left corner, create a new album, and I'm gonna call this dogs. Now obviously you can do it with anything. You can have multiple different albums, but it makes it easier when you now go back to your device and you click on your Amazon photos, you can then either choose all of your photos and have it that way, or you can choose different albums. And it may well be different albums. There you go, my dog's album. It may well be that you want different albums at different times. And now all of those photographs will start scrolling slowly through the different screens on your Amazon device. Now you may only want to have one single photograph showing, and it could be anything. For instance, I did this and used this method for the intro at the beginning where I had the individual words, the individual pictures on each screen. Now when you go into the section of the wallpaper and the clock and you click on the Alexa app photo, it says that a photo is needed. So all you need to do is to go to the app and select a photo that you want. Okay, so from the app, all you need to do is go to the device that you want to change the screen on. So for instance, in this case, I'm gonna change the All Things Tech Echo Show 8. You then need to scroll down until you get to Home Screen Background. So once you've scrolled down to that, you then need to click on Home Screen Background, and now you need to click on Single Photo, Add a Photo from this device. Once you click on that, that will take you to your photographs, and then you can select any photo you wish and then just click on the upload button and that will upload it directly to the device. So this could be good if you've got a favorite photograph or anything else you just want as a main background. Another feature that you can do on all of the devices is change the dimness and have night mode. From the Echo Show 8 and the Echo Show 2nd generation, it's here within wallpaper and clock. On the Echo Show 5, it's just within the standard clock settings. And here you can click on nighttime clock, which is show a dim version of the clock at night. You can schedule that to be at a certain time, whether that be between 10 and 7 in the morning, or you can have it done automatically and the actual device will sense when it needs to change. Okay, home content. Now this is all of the information that appears on that screen. So here you can see trending topics and normally it will scroll through different things like the weather, it could be news stories, football scores, all different things. Now to change that you go into the settings and then you go to home content and that will give you a long list of things that you can either turn on or you can turn off. And so here it's really down to personal choice how much you either have or don't. So my friends, that's about it for this video. Now we are gonna be doing a series of different videos on the Amazon devices, whether it be the Echo Shows or the speakers, so that you can hopefully get the very most out of it. We'll also look at what skills and routines are best for each device. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you do hit that red button to subscribe. And if this video has been helpful for you, please drop a like and also leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks as always my friends for watching this video and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next one.